cha boom boom ba cha boom cha boom boom ba cha Now listen up all you big cat lovers with the snacks in your face and your feet under the covers It's time to hear a story so sit your butt down because Derek's gonna walk you all around the compound ba cha ba do yeah all right here we go look at look at this look at it's like it's all like it's all like oh you know, it's it's like one of those uh, commercials. Like, are you? Do you do you feel lost? Do you feel lost? Well, come to Care. <laughs> Care has answers. Like this. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those commercials where you know you don't know if it's like is this like a. Is this like a healthcare place? Is it like an addiction treatment facility? Is it a cult? What are, what is this? What are we talking about? It's actually <laughs> come to find out like, oh my gosh, there's a, what is this? You know what? I, I, I went and I clicked on their website and then I started listening to the, this one-eyed tiger was just talking and, and he started making a lot of sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, another flop. Noe, you are full of flops. Noe, are you feeling floppy? Oh my gosh, look how I love it when she grabs her, grabs her peats. Noe, oh so oh my goodness. <laughs> look at you. No, he has all the answers. No, he has all the answers. That's what it is. Oh, my. Ah, that's great. Love you. Oh, my God. I almost, my eye, I think that my eyeball just actually touched one of those leaves. Just like ever, I, it was like so perceptibly, just imperceptible, like barely perceptible. Grasshopper. Noe. Noe, you're stealing this show. You are stealing this show. Ow. Oh gosh. It's a little bit <laughs> I tried to I tried to squat I uh, scrounch. Squat. <laughs> squat and crouch. I try I kept on I had the word scrounch in my head. And I, and like one one side of like the ex the word execution part was like Say scrounge, scrounge. But then, like the the quality assurance part of my head was like, I don't think scrounge is a word. <laughs> and then the execution is just like, just hit it, just hit the button, just say it. And the the QA is like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We need to. He's like, he's in the middle of a webcast. You have to say the word. <laughs> so they were like, they were getting into this argument. Hi, VEV. Turns out the QA person was right. Scrounge is not a word. <laughs> Hi, hello. Scrounge is not a word, but I, um, I had a, it, it's actually, I didn't realize, yeah, that little thing on my foot, that was from an axe, that was from an axe, Heidi and I were, uh, doing some, uh, brush cleaning, hi, hi, and, uh, I was chopping, I was chopping at a tree, Basically, it was just like kind of like standing like here. So then I was just like hitting and you know hitting it like angle down, angle down, angle down. Hit the thing and then koosh, and it hit just enough. Boom, <laughs> boom. And it was one of those kind of things where, because like I I saw it and I I luckily I kind of I kind of did that. I kind of huh. so then I I hit the hit the thing. And, uh, I don't even remember exactly what the noise was that I made, but it was something like, it was something like, ooh, oh, this ooh, kind of thing, like, oh, and like Heidi was there and she, she heard it and she knows when I'm being like facetious or when I'm just like, when I'm, when I'm being dramatic or I'm overselling, she's seen me get hurt a lot. <laughs> Let's just say she has seen me get hurt a lot. She knows the difference between hurt and injured. She knows the difference between me trying to just be like, ah, ah, and just like, ah, I need assistance. <laughs> and immediately she was just like, what did you do? <laughs> what happened? 
And I'm like, that, it's, it's, I'm all right. I'm right. Did you hit your foot? Did you, what have, did you hit your foot with the axe? And she was, did you hit your foot with the axe? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Whoa, 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 girls, whoa, girls. What is going on with these kitties? What is going on with these kitties? Man. Wow, look at him. I'm being silly. All right, we'll go this way. You, All right, you sold it. You sold it. Hey, Shanti, a.k.a. Mama's Naya, I don't think that she really wanted to see you. I don't think that she really cared for you to get up into her personal bubble. Because that's what happened. Like, it appeared as if... You know, Naya, a.k.a. Mama Shanti, was hanging out over there. And then Shanti, a.k.a. Mama's Naya, came up. And then Naya, a.k.a. Mama Shanti, uh, basically said just like, Hey, get out of my space. Get out of my bubble. I don't, I'm not feeling it. What's the matter, baby? What's the matter, baby? What matter? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, hi. Whoa. I'm, my goodness. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Wow. Anyway, I'm lucky. I'm lucky because I kind of, I did like, huh, I did that like at the last second so that the axe actually like kind of hit like slightly underneath my toe. Bobby. Because if it would have hit just like right on my toe, that thing probably would have cracked my toenail in half. Which would have sucked because then I would have lost the toenail again. I've lost toenails before. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Oh, man. And that's what I was thinking. Like, that, honestly, it was my immediate concern, concern. I was just like, not the toenail. Again. That was the thing. It was like, again. But I was like, yeah, I hit it so hard where it's like, there's times where it's like you'll do a thing. Oh, hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Anyway. Yeah, there's, there's times. I'm walking around. I'm walking around just, you know, just fine. Um, but uh, there's times where it's like you'll do something where you hit something, you slice something, electric shock. Whatever. <laughs> and there's like a weird period where it's like there is a, there is a there's a shock period where it's just like I don't know how hurt I am. <laughs> I've had that happen like a bunch of times where you know like sometimes you'll kind of do like a little kind of like pink you'll kind of like ding hit your t you know like you'll you'll ding your toe just a little bit like on the on the coffee table, um, and then. It'll be like, ooh, ah, ooh, goodness, oh, this is, oh, this is so painful, this hurt, this hurts, oh, I've, look, I've done that, I've done that, oh. where it's just a little pink, and I'm like, ah, why, why did the gods hate me? <laughs> and then I smack my, I mean, like, I, sw like, a swing, and I hit my foot with an axe, and it goes through my shoe, and then I'm just like, ka, ah, okay, all right. <laughs> That just happened. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what happened? Nothing, nothing. Did you hit your, yeah, yeah, I kind of did. So I'm like, I had to take, it took the thing off. And then uh, there was, yeah, my sock had a hole. I'm like, I don't think, that's, that was the thing. I saw there was like a little, because I wear black socks. There was a little little hole in the sock. And I'm like, I don't think it's that. No, 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 I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I take the sock off and it's just like blood, 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 just, just pouring. And I'm like, yeah, crap. Not a, ah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Heidi's like, is it enough for stitches? It's a, is it? And I, I'm like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know if it is. And I'm just like, no, I ain't getting stitches. <laughs> You can't make me. 
Hi, <laughs> Yano. Hi, Yano. Oh. Hi, bud. Oh. Hi. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> But then, uh, you know, Heidi was just like, let me, she's like, I like, I'll call Dash, I'll call Dash to come and pick me up. Cause we were, we were burning stuff. So it's like, whenever you do that, you have to, you have to have like, by law, you have to have people like monitoring areas. Of course. Cause you know, things can get, things can get too crispy. So you have to be careful. Hi. Um. So I was like, I'll call Dash. And I'm like, all right. So then I, I just go back to. I finish, I finish chopping the tree down because revenge It's like, you did this to me, tree. You did this to me. And uh, Des comes, picks me up, takes me up back up to the vet center. I'm able to peel all the stuff off, get the iodine, patch myself up, clean up everything, the wounds, gauze, bandage. All of that jazz. And then I went back out. Went back out to help Heidi. And it was interesting. It was interesting. Because as I was patching up the bottom of my left toe, I was noticing the scar on the top of my left toe. And then I was thinking about, like, oh, isn't this funny? This is kind of ironic. Hold on. Let me, let me, yes, let me scrouch. Scratch, squatch. Whatever the word was, I already forgot. Hey, you. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Because I was, I was hit with a, I was hit, I saw the scar on the top of my toe and I was hit with a bit of nostalgia. And it was in the back of the, yeah, I was in the back of the vet center. There was blood. And bandages, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember. It was the same, th it's like, not the same thing, but a similar thing that happened about like eight or nine years ago. Where, uh, we end up getting, we end up getting a bunch of, uh, calves. I can't remember exactly from where, but it was like ten. For, I, and I don't, I think I, I think I remember it was from a, uh, I believe it was from like a bovine medical testing facility. I think so. Um, where I, I, something to where they were like trying out a different thing and they ended up, they, they shot them all and then they, yeah, it was like, <laughs> this is what it is. But yeah, we had a, we had a, a whole bunch of just juvenile, we had a whole bunch of, uh, juvenile cows and we just had kind of an assembly line so much so that it was actually, it made more sense and it was more economic to actually like basically, and I was, what I was doing was like, I would grab a leg and then I would use my other hand with the knife to shoot, 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 and like take, take the legs off without having to take the time to like actually attach each individual animal up to the tractor. That's just kind of how we were doing it. But, but somebody, somebody, uh, during this process was wearing sandals. Yeah, someone was wearing sandals. So again, I was holding the thing up. I was with one hand, and then I had the the knife, and I was cut, cut, cut. And then it, I basically I, I cut the leg off. And as I cut the leg off, I went whoosh, and just chopped right across the top of my foot, and immediately just like bruh, just blood. And I'm like, I'm like, hmm. and then again, I looked around, and I'm just like. We still have a lot of cows. There's a lot of cows. So I, I ripped my sleeve off. I just ripped the sleeve off of my shirt and I wrapped it around my toe. We finished. We finished. We finished butchering. And then, uh, hobbled back to the, to the vet. Funny enough, hobbled back to the vet center where, uh, Heidi helped to, uh, patch me up. You know, iodine and all that fun stuff. I think this is even before her and this might have even been longer. This might have even been before Heidi and I were even together. Yeah, I don't even think that we were actually a romantic item. Oh, fast forward to 2020. 
Fast forward to 2020. You know. Got some tow stuff going on. Left one, same one. Funny. Right, I know. <laughs> what? Were you just you're like wafting a fart? It's like wafting a fart on... <laughs> on the thread. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Senor Leon Bendito was basically just like, like a brother would, just wafting. Just, oh yeah, sniff. Senor Leon Bendito. Senor Leon Bendito. But you know, it's just interesting how just kind of life, reality, and all that stuff, his way of just kind of cycling in on itself. Oh my. Oh my. Hi. Hello. That cut itself is fine. You know, maybe you should have gotten it. No, it's like inch and a half. It's not lo it's not longer than two inches. It's not longer than two inches and I'd say probably only maybe like an eighth of an inch deep. It's fine. And it got into the meat. It got into the meat of the potato. It's all good. I will add it to my collection of scars that I get, I've gotten for entirely stupid reasons. Look at these guys. Look at these cute tea patoots. What, Fred, what are you doing? All right. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Pretty girl. Hi. Hi, Cinderella. Hi, Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. They're being gross. Those boys are being gross over there. No. I know. I know. You gotta tell them to stop take like hanging out with, or thinking that like Boomer and Slade and stuff like that are cool. They're not. Alright. Poisoning the youth, those tea geese. Poisoning the youth. A Raleigh and Zuberia would never do something like that. Sander, Sander. Hello. <laughs> it's beautiful out right now. It is beautiful. <gasps> well, darling. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Sass. No, we got her hanging out in the vet center. Yeah. Cause that old leg of hers, that back leg of hers is just not working like it, it normally should. You know, because she's old. Because she's old. So I moved her to the vet center. And here's the thing. Like, she may very well become a vet center kitty. And there's been a fine and long, rich heritage... A lineage. The greats that have come before her. Of vet center kitties. Some kitties who have spent years. Years getting pampered. Like Tabby. Tabby got moved into the vet center. I remember Heidi said that when she moved Tabby into the vet center. She's like, oh, this is it. 
it's probably I'm just gonna give her the give her a good go for the last few months move her into the vet center and then she didn't she made it like another like five or six years <laughs> living in the vet yeah Tinkerbell Calamity Roscoe Raven and now Cassie Hi, baby. But yeah, her vertical mobility had to be restricted. This is the other thing, too. It's like, well, well, you know, this is a thing that it's an option that doesn't apply to every cat. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Some cats would not be happy. Some cats, you try to put them into a vet center situation, something like that, and then they are immediately, like, they do not like it. Some cats, they just take to it like a duck to water. They take to it like a cougar does to squeaks. And Cassie is definitely, definitely said just like, this is all right. Like she lays on her blankies and she likes getting smooches and she has visitors and people talking to her and she's like, this is okay. I can do this. I can totally do this. Like some cats, they, they, they get some of the perks and then they're just like, oh yes. Especially when they get older and they're, again, their mobility becomes restricted. And then it just, they, it, it's such a weird thing because like they can't do the things that they used to be able to do. And then inside of one of those enclosures, they're just like, ah, oh, and then they get upset. It's weird. They get, they're, they're just, they get bummed. And then you move them into the vets and then they're just like, I'm happy again. Then the other cats where it's just like, <clears throat> you can't, they get old and they get, they get worn down. And you can't move them. You can't move them from where they were. Because that would that would end them. Like Milo. I don't know where he is. I literally, as I was walking from over there to Cassie, I saw him. He was over here. He was laying over here. And looking up. Don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Hey you. Hi. Hello. There's a very loud helicopter. Hold on. All right, that stupid helicopter's moved away. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hi, mister. How you doing? How you doing? How you feeling? Spirits are definitely better with this guy than the last time uh, you saw him. He now has access to uh, this enclosure and this enclosure. See the doors? open and then also he has access to this he has access to the entire round pen that's crazy and he has been exploring and he's been walking around and he's been going up on all sorts of new platforms that he has he's either never been on or hasn't been on maybe in years I mean he hasn't been on years I think he's he has been in at one point in all three hi hi what are you doing what are you doing Mister. But yeah, as you can see, it's feeling better. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, he's like, oh, he's completely good and out of the woods and stuff like that. It's just he's feeling better now. And the last time I was film filming, he wasn't feeling better. He was, he, he looked, he looked pretty bad. He looked bad last time. But it didn't give me, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, like I said, you have cats that they go down and then they kind of come back up like this. So even seeing him and seeing him in that very rough spot, very rough shape, I'm just like, well, maybe, maybe. You never know. You just don't. But been giving him meds <clears throat> and doing the pain management protocol, which really is the only thing that we can do. As I was, I, I, I implied on, or not implied, but I wrote on one of the captions, I mean, he's too old to be able to have any sort of corrective surgery. Um, the rehab would be just too much stress on him and his body. And uh, yeah, he, uh, and the, the, the problems and the different things that happen with his, 
with his spine. They're just like, there's too much. So that like any sort of like associate or any sort of uh, associative surgery would involve basically just, yeah, a lot. More, more, if he was young, if he was a young kitty, then it's like, okay, maybe. Old guy, nope. We're just going to try to manage the pain. But then again, it's like, okay, that has its own kind of list of different complications. Because, you you know, you, you can't just sit there and give them just a big old fat stack of pills that's going to eventually like start causing havoc inside of his his body, his liver, his kidneys. So you have to balance that stuff. So it seems like uh, the uh, the dosages and everything, which are monitored and recommended, of course, by our veterinary support. Um, but he's taking the amount of meds that are safe for his for him in, for his insides, and enough to hopefully kind of get him. At least some degree of like you know pain relief and anti-inflammatory and anti-inflammatoryness, and 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 this is another thing, the fact that he now has one and two and three enclosures. That's one of those weird things that kind of gets, kind of gets your gets into your head, and he's just like, oh boy, zippity doo, I can go and go and explore the enclosures. What sort of adventures will I go on? And, <laughs> and it is one of those kind of things where, like, he gets a little bit more kind of, he gets a little bit more sprightly. I don't know, you ever remember, like, at the end of Lord of the Rings where um, they're about to take Bilbo to, you know, to the Undying Lands? And, and he's like, I am quite ready for another adventure. It's like you open up that enclosure and he's, he... He was hobbling around, but then all of a sudden he he's able to like, you know, throw his cane down. He's like <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not making fun of you. You're actually you're not like that. You are not. You're not You are nowhere near Bilbo's uh condition at the end of the third movie. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. But yeah, Milo. Milo is not, he is, he would not be a vet center kitty though. That's the other thing. Like some cats, some cats, it's like you put them into that sort of environment. And that's the thing that actually causes them to go downhill. Like some cats, you put them into the vet center and then you put them into that like pampered environment and they thrive. They love it. Some cats, you put them into that thing and they're, they, it's just like, I can't handle this. And, oh my gosh, no, he, no, we. And Milo would definitely be, I, you know, we strongly suspect, almost to the point of certainty, that Milo would be the latter. That it just would be, he would be miserable. And it would not be good for his health. He's just, he's too, he's too wild. And not my, not meaning like, that notion of like, there's difference between like that frisk, oh, a cat that's frisky or maybe a cat that's aggressive or a cat that's, no, it's like he is just wild. And you have to respect that. You have to. Cats that want to be like that, you can't, you can't say like, no, 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 this is the right way to be. And they're like, I've made my decision. And then you have to say, okay, okay. That's your decision. No we <laughs> Pretty baby. Pretty baby. Is that where we're going? Oh my gosh. That's Raven. I don't know if you can hear her. I don't know if you can hear her. She was... She was just, she was roaring. She was leopard roaring. Doing that, ooh, 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 You know what? I haven't shown Raven on one of these webcasts in a long time. Let's go see her. Peggy, 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 Peggy. Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. Hey, how are you? Pretty girl. 
excuse me, but I heard what I think maybe was a noisy leopard. Do you know anything about that? No. That's really interesting because I'm pretty sure I heard like a leopard. Mm. Yeah, I heard a leopard roaring. And this is a no noise. This is a no noise, like circle slash noisy leopards. No noisy leopards are actually allowed in this zone. Leopards are allowed in this zone, but noisy leopards are not. They're not allowed. And considering the fact that you're literally the only leopard in this area, it kind of makes me think that maybe you were the noisy one. And if you just came clean, I wouldn't be mad. We would figure it out. So I'll ask you again, were you, were you the one being noisy? Were you being a noisy leopard? <laughs> That's not helping. You're not being any help right now. Do you know that? I could actually uh, probably get you with some sort of like obstruction charge kind of thing. I just want you to know. That's kind of what we're dealing with. Hi, Raven. I know all this talk about like old cougars and old leopards and then Raven's like, what about me? <laughs> I'm ancient. <laughs> Have you forgotten about me? Dolly, there was some uh, nice people uh, who were driving by, and uh, there were some questions. The little, there was a little girl in the back seat. Uh, there's a truck, and they stop. So it's one of, again one of those things where it's like it just happens. People drive, and then they get to there, and they're like, what? <laughs> they back up and then I'll you know and then of course like I'm you know pause and then the little girl's like is that a panther and I'm like well it's a black leopard and she's like how old is she and I'm like 22 and she's like wow <laughs> so, then it just starts this conversation you know and I'm like yeah she's pretty old <laughs> you know it's like all right golly what are you doing anyway yeah, like I was saying, you got Milo and Cassie who like basically are officially in like, are officially senior citizens. They're officially like old kitties. And then Raven is like, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. How come Blanche and Rose get all of the attention, you know, when the sassy mom is where it's at? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's time to come in and get a drink of water. I can barely see what's happening. The bedspread's very nice. Alright. You can... Can't really see. Well, hold on. There's this little thing called light bulbs. Uh, Thomas Edison has uh, is on the phone and he wants to call you an idiot. <laughs> Hi, Raven. Hi, baby. <laughs> what? Are you being sassy? Are you being sassy because like you have there's other there's other old kitties and you're like. I'm only, I'm supposed to be the old kitty. There's not supposed to be other old kitties. I'm the only old one. And there's, and this is my bed. And I'm not sharing any of my stuff. You see these? You see these stuffies? These are my stuffies. These are old kitty stuffies and they can't have them. They can't have them. These are mine. <laughs> That's probably what she's saying. It's like... I will, I will petition, I will petition my state senator, <laughs> you know, because old people tend to get, you know, they get very, they're, they're very, uh, they're very politically active. Now, where is my parchment and my writing quill? <laughs> don't you pee on that bed. You pee outside. You don't need to be peeing on your bed. All right, that's good. That's good. 
Look at her. Cheapers, Krim. Look at her. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> oh, Raven. <laughs> just a complete. She is just a an utter mess. An utter wonderful mess. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website krescuetexas.com for more information. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Monkey's Butter Toast. She saw a ghost. Miko weighs the most.